Well, State Superintendent of Education Molly Spearman tells us that she's cautiously optimistic for the start of the new school year and the spread of the Delta variant has drastically changed things here in South Carolina. Now she's encouraging families to get their eligible children vaccinated if they'd like. And she also says that masks can be worn in school. They're optional. And with so many school districts starting within the next week or two, you may have some questions about what your child's school year will look like. And we took your questions to her and got answers. What can school districts do? I don't really, I think their hands are tied. Um, they cannot mandate masks. Um, there's a teacher shortage, so the class sizes are pretty large. And that has the students pretty close together. Um, I don't know what they can do. Well, I know parents are concerned. All of us are. Uh, districts are prohibited from requiring masks. That is a state law uh, that was passed. But I want parents to understand there are many other mitigation tools that can be used. One of the most important is hand washing, staying three feet apart, cleaning, uh, the contact tracing, all of the things that we'll be doing that I hope will make our school classroom safe and make parents feel more comfortable. After school is in session, if there are multiple positive cases among staff and students, will the districts reevaluate their mask mandates? Districts right now are prohibited from requiring masks by a mandate that was passed by the state legislature. Whether that changes or not, whether the legislature changes their mind on that, that would be the prevailing factor there. How are we going to assess performance after a year of remote learning? Well, absolutely, we need to know where our students are. So within the first 10 days of school, uh, students will be assessed. We call them interim or formative assessments. That will be done throughout the year. Uh, it gives us excellent data to know where the students are performing and also for teachers in the classroom, how, how they might need to adjust their teaching for each child what we're going to do for those students who started in the middle of COVID for the very first time and like how we're going to adapt to them getting to know what a regular school day would be like and how like normal school is going to be like for them. Well, it's, it's been hard on all of our children uh, who have never experienced normal, uh, but I know that administrators, principals, they're trying to make this year as normal as possible. There'll still be a few twists but I think children back in school will get that feeling of being part of a classroom family, having fun, learning together. A, su a superintendent Spearman says she expects the mass mandate ban to be challenged in court by a school district shortly. And she says ultimately it may be up to the courts to decide who has the final say on who protects your child. In Columbia, I'm Jason Raven.